Yeah, I wrote this. I wrote this about Ed. Instead of making a video, I wrote this about Ed, and I was gonna make a video, but I just wrote this. It's it's long, and it tells it tells the truth about him. What he did one night with Zungalai's, the, the judge Zungalai, with Mike Zungalai's um, son's girlfriend. Huh? Oh no, it's more it's worse than that. Worse than cheating. Um cool on down. Can I get like do you have a small heater like that one? Yeah. Huh? Just in case Twenty one hours ago. Mm -hmm. Edited you. See, gonna, I see things for what they are, go not by what a piece of paper thing. says. Like my brother, for example, he is absolutely a perverted creep that tries to violate younger women who are vulnerable or even passed out drunk in one specific instance. And I'm not talking about Henry either. How embarrassing is it to have two brothers that are weirdo creepy perverts? But see, since Ed was never charged by law enforcement, he has never had to take accountability for his behavior. I'm guessing that's what makes him feel empowered to point his finger at everyone else like the hypocrite that he is. Maybe it helps him to deflect attention from the all the disgusting things he has done to young girls. I'd imagine the shame and guilt he's been carrying around has the power to bury the truth so deep inside that maybe he's even convinced himself of the lie he's told since this is probably his first time getting called out on his actions. I'm not sure if any of the other five or six people that were there called him out or not. The girl he tried to touch was passed out, in bed, when her boyfriend turned his own bedroom light on to check up on her. He was surprised to find that creepy ED was knelt down beside his bed next to his drunk sleeping GF whose name rhymes with Darlena Claritin. So my buddy said that he just got up, never saying a word, and ran out of the room and down the steps toward the kitchen where we were all hanging out. So you can imagine all of our surprise when he bolts out the front door without saying a word or even looking at any of us. We all knew instantly what had just happened because our host made it clear to all of us earlier that night that no one should be upstairs after his GF passed out. There was another bathroom downstairs anyway so it was pretty obvious what he was trying to do. We debated the rest of the night whether or not to tell Kim what Ed did but since she was already known to blame the messenger for trying to split them apart when Ed cheated on her, we left it up to the chick to tell Kim the truth. Now I've heard some pretty outrageous excuses from people who got caught doing what they weren't supposed to be doing. Like at absent-minded aid ones for instance. But this excuse my brother Ed decided to go with was next level. I couldn't make this up if I tried. Ed made sure he talked to Kim and my dad before anyone else could spill the beans so I got to hear it from my dad who is already gullible to begin with. My dad believed his favorite son and his BS story because Ed included someone that my dad didn't care for to begin with. A local guy named Eric Nitty. Ed claimed that he couldn't remember anything from the night before and suggested to my dad that Nitty must have slipped him a roofy face with tears of joy. 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 LMFAO. What's really disturbing is the fact that he will probably try to deny it today. Or at least make excuses like he did when it happened. I don't enjoy telling everyone the truth about my brother, Ed. But I asked him to stop making up lies about me or smearing my name on my channel or else I would have no choice but to tell the truth about him. He said, go for IT. I am willing to swear on a Bible that this story is absolutely true to the best of my recollection. And I'm sure the other witnesses would have no problem swearing to its validity as well. So I'm pretty sure this clears things up for anyone who thinks for one second that I would ever condone the cover up or protection of someone that's this sick in the head. Whether it's my own brothers or not. However, I'm not going to come in here and make a video that forces a victim, my daughter, to be subjected to a few sick rotten people's comments that would make her have to relive something that should have never taken place to start with. Public disclaimer, the fact that I told this story exposing my brother, Walter Edward Hofer Jr., does not imply that I did so with malicious intent. It's simply a consequence of my brother Ed's own actions. One like. Dashboard. Content. Analytics. Comments. So, but right after I left that 20 hours ago, 16 hours ago, he left that comment and said, said, uh, it's, it's proven, proven to break you out of your psychosis is proven to be, uh, Ow. to be a waste of my time. Have a good night. See ya. He gives up like, like that's, he said, you'll be back. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm sure he will be. Uh, no, I don't know. He might. He might. Uh, this this one might have opened his eyes. He might realize, uh, like, yeah, I, I better just stop. Maybe. Because, well, I I wasn't fucking. Around. I was just gonna tell one or two people what, a little bit of a story. I'm gonna fucking tell a story. The next thing was to make a video about it. Yeah. I told him I was making videos. I would make. I'd be making right. videos. Hey. Because he said go for it, you know. And I said, I said, I'm trying to resolve it in. I said, the reason that, the fact Thank that you. I haven't made videos yet about this stuff, and I told him exactly what I was going to make a video about. I said, that, sh that should prove to you that, that I'm not, you know, that I'm trying to fucking, if you, to knock it off. I don't want people to fucking look at you like an asshole. Yeah. And uh, he says, oh, you, that's all you do is, is try to, is, is, try to uh, cause he conflict does. he said right? that's what he does and I, I said no I, <laughs> I said I'm literally trying to resolve it and I said uh, I said I'm telling you right now if you fucking if you keep it up I'm gonna fucking tell the truth about you go for it he said I said I got a lot of videos to make <laughs> that was over a month ago you know and he kept it up all fucking month Really? Yeah. No, no. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, it's been worse now. That's why I did that like, last night. He's saying all kinds of fucked up shit. Just in that one thread right there, he says that I lost my job because I was dealing drugs at my desk at work and I was passing out. That's a lie. Uh, he said, Rich, Rich, we went to jail for drugging, uh, drugging a young girl or something and sexually assaulting her. Um, and then he's bringing up Delilah and hey, he's doing all this shit. God, he was yeah. getting dirty. He does not. He was doing it. I'm just getting married. But that's why that's I fucking, makes, That's where that's, I draw that, the That's why I did that. And I included Kim and everything. And it's just, it's not me embellishing anything. It's just the fucking truth. Honest God truth. And he knows it. He knows it. He knows there's five or six fucking people that were there that saw it too. 